Good afternoon. On behalf of the Grand Rapids Public School District, Superintendent Teresa Weather Arnell and myself, I would like to welcome you all to our press conference for the partnership between Grand Rapids Public Schools and the Grand Rapids Community College. Second, as principal of Ottawa Hills High School, I would like to give a huge shout out to our own superintendent, Teresa Weatherall Neal, and the president of GRCC, Dr. Bill Pink, for the many initiatives taking place in our own building and opportunities given to our students through this partnership. Next, I want to share a small quote with you all by Mother Teresa, where she states, none of us, including me, ever do great things, but we can all do small things with great love and together we can do something wonderful. Something wonderful is exactly what you all have done for our students here in our building, creating the opportunity for students from Southeast Grand Rapids to receive college credits while in high school, creating the opportunity to receive an associate's degree free, for free, saving some families anywhere from $10,000 to $60,000. With the co collaborations between our staff, led by Dave Selman. We have received mentoring for our students, a revamping of our training facility for our student athletes, and lastly, we were even able to hold our prom downtown at GRCC facilities for little to no cost. As the GRPS School District continues to push for this partnership, I want to let it be known how grateful we are and how much appreciative we are um, for what the GRCC leaders are doing to expose, enlighten, and provide opportunities to our students. In three years, GRCC will grant its first group of Ottawa Hills students associate's degrees, a, de a day in the not too distant future that will continue to remind us of how important this partnership is to our schools, our community, and most importantly, our children. Thank you and enjoy our program. Good afternoon. What a wonderful, wonderful day this is. Thank you to Koshik, uh, our new principal, not so new, but our newest principal here. Um, he has just been uh, just a rock star here in this district. Just a, a great, great addition to the staff. It is such an honor and a privilege for me to be standing here before you to celebrate our wonderful partnership with GRCC and GRPS. GRCC and GRPS, we have a long history together. Actually, Dr. Pink, you may not know this, but GRCC, when it was junior college, was a department in the Grand Rapids Public Schools. And look at you now. You are a college on your own. And so the partnership isn't new. We've always worked together. This is just wonderful. But we want to build on this history today here as we talk about the future for our young people, our children here, to expand the dual enrollment opportunity. And it may not sound like a lot for some. I went to GRCC when it was junior college, but I went four years at night, two to three classes. And so for our students to have this opportunity to walk away with an associate's degree is just absolutely unbelievable. So this opportunity for the early middle college program with Ottawa Hills is not just about getting an associate's degree. It's about all the other wonderful programs that will come with this for children, for young people here on the southeast side of town. Since 2013, we have really focused on dual enrollment. We wanted this to happen for every child in the district. So we've seen a 60% increase across the district, not only taking classes, but actually passing college classes. That is something, that's a gateway for children to go well beyond taking the classes, but 60%. But I want to just talk a little bit about not just the 60%, because that's a 118% increase, right? These are children that we thought, they thought, couldn't do it. And they're, here they are getting their high school diploma, but they're also, also getting college credit. So for African-American students, this is an increase of 68%. 68%. But listen, for Hispanic students, it's a 231% increase, unheard of. We literally are changing the lives of these children by sending them to school, K-12, and partnering with Grand Rapids Community College. So it's just, it's a wonderful thing for our students to have access. We know that education is the key. And if you can catch children, young people, while they're in school to do both, it is beyond their dream. Kids, young people shouldn't have to do it the way I did it. 
four years at night to get an associate's degree, right? Not when we can get to them during the day. So I just want to say thank you to all of the staff members here at GRCC. And I really want us to seek other ways for us to partner. And not just for us to benefit from you all at CC, but how can we help you as well? Because this is a true partnership. And so on behalf of Grand Rapids Public Schools, my board members, the staff here at Grand Rapids Public Schools, I just want to say thank you to all of the staff members. Dave, you've been awesome. You guys have just been great um, partners to work with. Everyone here, they've opened it up for these kids to win, right? And if it's just sparking a dream, sparking a dream, we know that that will go really far. So for Lisa, Brandon, Dr. Pink, all of you guys, everybody that has helped us, I cannot literally say thank you enough. And I would say, Ken, where is Ken Klein parents? Because we need our air. Dr. Pink, I'm sorry, we don't have air here, but I'm gonna introduce Dr. Pink <laughs> next. Thank you so much, Superintendent Neal. I, I will tell you that these type of opportunities do not come about without leadership stepping up saying, yes, we can do that. Yes, we can make it work. Yes, we can make it happen. These type of partnerships, and by the way, it doesn't happen well without partnership. You know, we can fool ourselves in talking about how uh, we do our work and talk about how we individually do our work. We are a better institution at Grand Rapids Community College because of our partners in Kent and Ottawa and all the other counties that we service uh, uh, directly and indirectly. We are better because of our partners. We are better because of people like Superintendent Neal, one of our proud alums. Because I, and, and that pride is that we are proud of her. We are proud of what she has accomplished. She is what I call, and as you've seen in the press release that went out, as I said, and I still believe this, and I will always believe this, she is the right leader at the right time for partnerships such as this. So thank you, Superintendent Neal, for your leadership and your work. Please, thank you. It makes sense that an urban district having an urban community college seated right in the middle of downtown would have a partnership. Makes sense. None of us should be surprised. But what is so good about today is that we are able to call out a partnership. Because that's what you need to do from time to time. You need to call out partnership, number one, just to remind yourselves of what partnership is about, but to also remind your community of what the partnership is and the importance of the partnership. And so that is why we come together today in this place. Principal Sarkar, thank you for hosting us today. Because we are in this place because at Ottawa Hills High School is where GRCC has a presence with this district. Among other high schools in this district, here's, this is one that houses the early middle college. And I will say also, when you think about the work that we do at Union High School, you think about Challenge Scholars, when you think about the fact that we have, as Superintendent Neal mentioned, we have one of our associate deans from GRCC who has a primary purpose of partnership with Grand Rapids Public Schools. When you think about those dynamics, when you think about, as Superintendent Neal mentioned, dual enrollment, concurrent enrollment students who are able to take classes from GRCC and get further down the road on their college education before they finish high school. Those are reasons that an urban district, along in partnership with its urban community college, have to work together. Just makes sense that we work together to make sure that it's not about the institution, it's not about the district, it's about our students, and it's about our community. And that is why partnerships like this mean something, because it's about this community of Grand Rapids. Because that partnership that we talk about today and the partnership that we affirm today, you know, it would have been easy for us to just have a regular Monday and not get together like this and have cameras and all this stuff set up. It would have been easy for us just to go into the school year, fall of 2018, saying, yeah, we have part. No, it's important to myself, it's important to Superintendent Neal that we take a minute, that we pause, that we stop right here and help this community understand that the district of Grand Rapids Public Schools and the community college in Grand Rapids Community College are both committed to the education 
of our students here in Grand Rapids. So much committed to that, that it's important for us to affirm, once again, that partnership among these two organizations really matters. So that's why we're here today. So we're grateful to be the community college here in Grand Rapids and in Kent County that can say to this district, we are your partner. We're in this together. We'll get this done together. And so I thank Superintendent Neal, I thank John, I thank all of those principals, those folks who are hands at the plow with us in partnership to help our students, these are our students, to help our students progress down this road known as education so that they can make a better life for themselves and the families that they will have. I want to introduce to you two of those individuals that are the reason for why we're here today. And I'll have both of them come up. I'll give you both of their names at the same time and let them speak a little bit. Don't, you know, half hour each, if that's okay. No, I'm joking, please. Exactly. <laughs> but both of these individuals, and we, I met them several months ago when we were working on uh, the billboard, and these are fantastic students. And they're folks who I know are committed to their education because they understand the value of education. I'll introduce to you first, coming to the mic will be Inez Abidi and she will be followed by Najee Smith. Inez. Thank you. Um, I want to first thank, um, thank everyone involved in the process because they've done so much to help us and assist our journey along the way. We could tell that they were very committed to helping us out. Our input was heard a lot along the way. We had surveys where they asked us about our opinions about the curriculum, about our professors, how we felt it was structured. Um, and I wasn't expecting that starting out. My expectations were to save money because I don't know any student who, is, who has the cash in the area that I'm living right now. And it's not affordable in any way. So to get that opportunity means a lot. It's valuable, just as education is very valuable to me as a person. Um, they provided us with tools and resources and equipped us we had tutors and professors who really cared, I could tell. Um, and the curriculum set us, set us up to excel. We had AP curriculum, honors classes, and I could tell we were challenged, but I think it's nice to be challenged to learn that you're learning something and that you're expanding your horizons. Um, we had various field trips around the year where we visited colleges such as the MSU, um, and it kind of provided us with an opportunity to understand what kind of options we had when we received our, our associate degree. Um, and this experience, in a way, helped me understand if I really wanted a college experience, if I wanted to really delve into that study, and from the professors that I have, I think I really do want to go and actually learn in a college environment. It's just been great. Everyone has been so encouraging to me and they care about us and they care about our input. And I'm really excited and eager to continue this journey. Thank you. Hi, I'm Najee, but like Fatima said, they, the college professors and everyone who helped this they showed uh, that they cared a lot about us and that pushing for an education higher than just high school will help you in so many ways. Like getting an associate's degree, that helps. Like I've seen studies that show that if you get at least an associate's degree, getting a job is higher for you than just having a high school education. And that for me is very good since I already wanted to go to college and getting an education, but getting it Easy is an uh, easier way to get it now than just having to pay a whole bunch of tuition money, school fees, and uh, extra stuff. But I like to thank everyone who here to help. Um, Mr. McBride been helping us the whole way. Probably gonna stay there. Miss Teresa O'Neill, Mr. Dr. Pink. I like to thank the partnership. It's a good learning experience and. I like to push this forward too with other classes and not just us. But 
Thank you for the time. I'll give this back to Dr. Pink. We should have just let them do this whole thing. <laughs> My goodness, uh, please, because, because I, I, I just got to say, for our high school students to be able to stand in front of you and in front of cameras and eyes and do such a good job in articulating their thoughts, would you give them another round of applause, please? So what we're going to do now is that uh, Superintendent Neal and myself uh, at the table, what you see us signing are just documents that affirm and reaffirm the connection and commitment to each other and to partnership in education and the education of our young, uh, our young adults here in the Grand Rapids Public Schools so that as they transition from GRPS to GRCC, that that transition still remains one that's smooth and one that is uh, clear and that uh, it's an affirmation of, uh, of partnership. And after that, uh, any uh, uh, interviews or whatever with our students or myself or Superintendent Neal, uh, we welcome that as well. But I want to say thank you to all of you. And then Superintendent Neal will close us up once we finish signing. So we're going to sign. Okay. Again, I just want to say thank you to uh, Dr. Pink, to John. So many of you guys have made this possible for these young people in this community. And I do think this is a way to, the way to go. And thank you to the parents for coming out, to the students. Um, this is really a special day and it will pay dividends, you guys. This will pay a huge dividend for these children and for our community. We will stay around for any questions that you may have of anyone here um, to answer. So.